happy Sunday afternoon. Love, Karen, thank you. She's running the camera today. Although we have to, love, we have to give a big shout out to our friend Mitch Smith up on Long Island. He sent you, Karen? A you, tripod. You're very, she, she has her very own <laughs> tripod now. Mitch, thank you, sir. Very much thinking of you. We are so much so. My crown, black salute. Mm. Salute. Thank you, Mitch. All right. If you followed along at all, how many years, love? At least four or five? With us? Well, the whole Scoterzilla thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably a good, I'd say five years. Even if you followed, just started following us last year, I've talked about, down here, I've talked about Scoterzillas. But hey, come over here real quick. Just walk on over here. It's okay. Check this one out. This poor guy. This is what happens to Scoterzilla. They get used and abused. Not by me. They do get used by me. <laughs> but that's what they're made for. These are decoys. And decoys in the waterfowl world, they're collectibles for sure, but originally and to the bare root, they are what? Love? They're tools. tools. They're very good. They're tools. Just like a boat, a gun. A dog's not a tool. Yes, it is. Okay, a dog. To tax agent. To the tax agent. Very good. Love. I like that. <laughs> I, like, I like her thinking. But way back when, I have I have gone over and talked about the rig contest. So the, at the Happy Grace Decoy Museum, decoymuseum.com every may they had a decoy contest many different levels of a decoy contest yeah i was looking at that too often people drive by and they slow down i think they're looking at the world's largest stuff boat love what do you think i'm looking for little bobo Bo, Bo. Yes. here he comes all right bo's back with us we can't lose him he's too little he only has he only has one eye but anyway back to my point the rig contest i think it was odd years was puddle ducks even years was divers so 95 was 95 was black duck. 95 was black duck. 96, don't laugh. 96 were these gems. These gems of a buffalo head. That was 96. What did, what did you just what did you just say? I, I was going to call it a blue bill. Come on, that's a buffalo head. I'm, my feelings are hurt now, love. This. Yeah, that's a buffalo head. Come on, this is a blue bill right here. Okay. That's a buffalo head. Uh, Come on. Mm -hmm. All right, so 1997... You can laugh at these two. Was the widgeon. These are hollow plenty widgeon. 1998. Love, this is a bluebill. Was the bluebill. And then, oh my goodness. Okay, so then the odd years again were puddle ducks. So 1999 was the pintail. 2000 was, and I don't have one handy because I still need to do that video, love. Was, was, was canvas back. 2001, I believe, was green wing teal. Brings us to 2002. 2002. See that right there? Right here? Yep. 2002, right? Uh -huh. Right there. Okay. Wait, and it says what? 2014? 2014. So that means from the 2014 season, that's when I first started using the Scoterzilla. What is a Scoterzilla? It's a joke. The Scoterzilla is a joke. That's what it's all about. It's about having fun, having a good time. And that's what the rig contest was. I never intended to use these guys, but today I do because I had a big enough boat. I started in the 17-foot boat, the 21-foot duck boat. When I went to the 25, hmm, I got a little bit more space. And definitely in the 32 today, I definitely have more than enough space to use these. So the original Scoterzilla, see the eyelashes? They're Google eyes. Can you see that in there? Google, do it again. Can you see, is he Googling? Not really, it's uh, hard to. They may, be, they may be stuck. They really were Google eyes at one time. But you can see this guy, he's been used. Mm -hmm. But if you take a good, good look, this is old Wiley Cork. Old Wiley Cork. The top half is four inch Wiley Cork. The bottom half is two inch Wiley Cork. They didn't make six inch Cork. I wanted six inch birds plus the bottom birds. So this is a, it's got some nice height and is definitely much bigger this one rattles just a little bit. It is hollow. And this is definitely much bigger than the birds that I was using. Real quick, Wiley Cork was made in Wilmington, Delaware. Can't remember the exit number, but off of 295, right along the water. It was not the best neighborhood to drive down through. I never really felt threatened. There wasn't really, well, that's another story for another time. I'm not going to go there right now. I did have to go past a, a detention center, which, you know, fortunately, I never had to go in. What's wrong, love? Okay. So anyway, Wiley Cork. Cork is tree bark. It comes off a tree that's in the oak family. They stripped these big pieces of bark off the trees and actually sent it over. Marty Wiley imported it, ground it up, extruded it, and the old Wiley Cork did not absorb water. So we didn't have to worry about that with this bird. But again, the Scoterzilla in the beginning was a joke. It was a big joke. This Scoterzilla is balsa wood. 
Works out pretty good. That's probably pushing eight inches thick, I bet you, with a northern white cedar head. This one hasn't gotten shot too bad. But speaking of getting shot, here is one of the original ones. <laughs> Woo! Wait a minute, let me do that again. It's like a baby rattle. Something like that. This is when I was experimenting with putting tailboards in them, not having the tails on the water, but shooting a tailboard out. But I mean, just take a look at this guy. Battle, scorn, and warn. I love this animal. <laughs> All right, so that's one that the cork is imported from Portugal. That cork does absorb water, and the reason for hollowing them out is so there's just not as much. Here comes a car. Pam's going to be driving. So in theory, there won't be as much cork there to absorb water. When I pulled off the weights and hardware off these guys, I had some that literally water poured. Oh, that one. That one makes I don't know what's going on in there, love. Uh, this one. Shoot, I bet you that. This, this guy here, I bet you he weighs... Literally twice is what he should weigh. I don't know if he's going to dry out or not. Hopefully the summer will dry him out. I don't know. He may have to be seriously retired. Here's another one that's going <laughs> to... So back to the joke. The Scoterzilla... I've said it more than a couple of times, but it is a joke. It was the first time that I won best of show. Actually, first and second. Because the big, big ones, they took first place. You have to make six birds, at least two hens in your six. So I had a big, big set of, of scoters. I, I may have taken, I'm not bragging, I'm sorry. No, I may have taken one, two, and three. Because I think I had, I think I had two rigs of big ones. Like it was five dollars then. And I had my normal size. I almost think that I took first, second, and third. I definitely remember taking first and second. Can I ask a question? Yes, please. Why Why does this one just have a black bill? Well, this was a hen. Because in the in the rig in the rig contest, we had to make hens. This one's got, the hens ha actually have kind of a, they're not black. They're more of a chocolatey brown, shall we say? And a little bit of white in their face. And just to kind of blend. <laughs> And just to blend in with, here's a little bit of white on the side you can see there, I think. Uh -huh. See it? Yep. Yeah. But just, you know, me being a little bit lazy, I had a quick bird to the rig because the bir other birds had gotten shot up and got heavy. I think the black shows up much better on the water than the, the brown the hens do. So okay. I think black is better than brown. So that's that's the reason why I turned this one kind of into a uh, hermaphrodite. Is that what you would say? <laughs> is that what you would say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Both, both that's sexes, why, right? Yeah, both sexes. That's why this one's black. That's why this one's black. <laughs> Here, love. Here's another one. Check this glass eye out. Aww. Boom, he's gone. Here it is. It's ugly. And, 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 speaking about getting shot, this one's pretty heavy, too. But they float pretty well. I will say, I've, I, I complained to you, Karen. I told you at the end of the season, man. Woo. In the ocean, pull up 30 pounds from 30 to 40 feet deep. And then I run six of these to a line in my Dakota six-slot goose floater bags. Dakota makes a very nice bag. Even my 12-slot bags are Dakota bags. I love those. But the decoys got a little heavy. And I was complaining. What did I love? A little. Just a lot? A little or a lot? Just a little. I Remember? Mean, and then my, tough, I said my thumb was hurting. Yeah. You weren't sure what was what? What did you say it was? It's probably arthritis. Arthritis. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just freaking old. Just old. Mm. My mm. dad, you know what my dad would say? Oh, what would he say, love? He would say, you're as old as the woman you feel. Well, you're 10 years younger than me, so I mean, I'm feeling pretty good then, like, there right? There you go. Uh-huh. All right. So that's basically what a Scoterzilla is. It started out as a joke. The first Scoterzilla were made out of Wiley cork, four inches and two inches glued together. I did hollow them out, put a bottom board on them, northern white cedar heads, glass eyes. Sometimes I put Google eyes with little, little eyelashes on them it's about having fun and I, I just had fun with them i really truly didn't intend to use them but then with 17 foot duck boat to a 21 foot when i went from the 21 to the 25 well like evidently it took me the 25 was in uh let's say two definitely in the 2011 season because i barely got it it was delivered, delivered very, very late, late to me in the 2010 season so we'll say 2011 12 13 14 so the 14 2014 season to current day been using the scoterzilla and they show up great on the ocean and i can't wait to make a few more i got some Love, I got that balsa wood coming. The balsa wood's going to make it much lighter. Hopefully, like this one, it is pretty light. But the balsa wood and the bottom board, I barely had to put any weight on to write, to write themselves. So that, that's a positive thing. And that's pretty much it on the Scoterzilla. A joke, a joke, a joke. That's what it started out as. 
May 2nd and 3rd, the year 2020, get to Have to Grace, Maryland. We are going to have an awesome time at the Have to Grace Decoy Museum's May Decoy Festival. Yours truly, it's an honor. <music> to be the honorary chair, I'm really looking forward to it, love. Are you? Yes. It's going to be a great time. Mm -hmm. It really will. Hopefully we have some awesome weather. Town of Havity Grace is where I was born. Man, it really gets into it. The show Saturday, Sunday, May 2nd, May 3rd, the year 2020. Decoymuseum.com. Make sure you get there. Thank you for watching. If you could, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, I'll, I'll do my best to answer. If you don't like this Skoderzilla, which I don't know who would not love, who couldn't like a Skoderzilla, <laughs> give me a thumbs down. It's okay. Subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I'm going to enjoy a little bit more of my Maryland, my Maryland crown black glass so usually in my rig my rig discussion love i i bring out another karen gets tell everybody about my crown glasses please because i've already told everybody that you you're really not that happy with me about crown no, glasses because we we don't have the biggest house in the world right <laughs> and but if we use one every day you would never have to wash one for the next year mm. But I really like crown glasses. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway, I think I've shown about six different kinds. This is a repeat. I just happened to grab it because I wasn't really going to talk about the crown glass that we're, that we're drinking from. So the VPC Lanyards Bench Shot Glass, that's not really a crown glass either. Although I do drink crown from it. So I guess that's it, love. You don't have to really share. You, know, you don't have to share everybody the rest of, the rest of what all this junk that we got going nope. on. But, 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 is that it, love? I think so. As always, thinking of you we are. We really are. Woo! Ha!